Hey, I'm Antoine and welcome to another video on the channel and uh, this one is going to be an update for the release of the watchOS 7.2 and the watchOS 6.3 latest uh, signed IPSW for Apple Watch series uh, 1, 2, 3 and the 4th and the 5th and the 6th generation uh, of course uh, so we have um, this uh, series 3 stuck in recovery mode and we are going to restore it now with a different NFC as you can see and uh, also, I have some information about the NFC and the new watchOS, which I will cover it later in this video. Uh, so, but in this one, we are going to um, only uh, cover a restore process on the Series 3 LTE 42mm. Uh, to show you an example, of course, um, using MFC software. This is only using iBus, and this is the MFC dongle we are going to use. <coughs> and the iBus Series 2 for Series 2 and Series 3 Restore Apple Watch. Also, I will leave all the links for the watchOS in the description down below, so you can download them for free, including the Series 1, 2, 3. And uh, for the rest of the Apple Watch uh, Series 4, 5, 6, 4th, 5th, and 6th, uh, I, will, I ordered my I, iBus uh, Series 4, which is supporting the Series 4th, 5th and 6th Apple Watches and uh, I'm expecting it next week and I will make a separate video about it also with all the IPSW included so we have to remove this um, cover to connect the iBus I don't know if you can see it yes, you can see it and uh, this is what I'm going to use this metal which uh, like adapter for the iBus it has a side for the 42mm and another side for the 38mm and because we have a 42, we are going to connect it for the 42 millimeter side, connect the iPass. And of course, now we have a new activation MFC dongle, which gives you a serial number or serial code to give you a virtual MFC dongle to get access for the uh, IMFC tab on the MFC software. You can uh, buy it on the official side of the MFC box. I will also leave it in the link in the description down below and now we are going to the computer to begin our store okay let's connect our watch here we go so um, i'm going to choose the right ipsw to restore our watch in that case in our case we have an apple watch series 3 42 millimeters lte here we go flash press on shift and Store. Uh, let's take the APSW. Okay, um, it's the same process as in my previous video. Uh, now I also noticed two things new in the new software from the Series 3 and up, or to be more specific, from the Watch S7 and up, uh, there is no more force touch uh, function anymore. So now it's built in the software itself. Even the, if the force touch is not connected, you can now just leave your watch without it. And also, um, another thing about the Watch S7, I have noticed that it has something to do with the NFC. Uh, so if you have a problem with the NFC on Watch S7, we'll bypass it, and uh, that uh, will let you activate the watch with, uh, with no problem, with your iPhone, of course. Um, but you can put it a card or uh, the Apple Pay, basically, for the payments using your watch, and... Um, but all other function related to NFC also will be uh, will not work, but it will bypass the NFC, even if it was bad NFC or damaged NFC or anything related to NFC. So uh, you can try, of course, you can try to replace the NFC or uh, check anything, as I said, related to NFC. And uh, also, uh, if you have a damaged or uh, non-connected NFC to the screen if you change the screen or something like that you will get this error and of course this error is in the 3.3.1 version of the MFC software so if you try the old version or the beta versions that I already talked about it in my previous video the error will not appear and the restore process will go smoothly but again, you cannot add your uh, card to Apple Pay because the NFC is not working. 
so it's only a bypass. But for the 6.3 watchOS, it's still the same deal. No NFC or damaged or not original, it will give you the same error, the FDR error. In the end, and in the end, the restore process will not complete, of course. If you have this, uh, of course, if you have this problem, you can always contact me on Instagram or Reddit, and I will try to help you as fast as I can. And now I'm going to speed forward all the process, and then I'm going to show you that the watch will activate with no problems. So here we have our watch fully restored with non-original NFC and I guess in fact is non-working NFC and still we completed our restore process with no problems. But I'm showing you this because I already restored uh, this watch with a good NFC so even if you don't have the original NFC you will still can change the NFC and make update or restore for the device if you are in watch 6 and up and I will get the NFC functionality back. Now I'm going to activate the Apple Watch in my phone but I'm not going to fully complete an activation. I'm just going to show you the bypass stuff. So let's be forward. So as you can see, here we go. I guess this is uh, the step when you can see that the Apple Watch will activate with no problems and Officially in watchOS 7, the NFC is bypassed. Uh, of course, uh, I recommend to do an update in watchOS 7 and up because there's a lot of people that contacted me when they changed the screen without replacing the NFC. The watch immediately hangs on the red screen, which uh, is the recovery mode. So if you want to update, I recommend from the watchOS 7 and up. Uh, now, of course, for the series 4 and up, I'm waiting for my iBus uh, series 4 or 5. And then uh, I will make a video separately and I will include all the latest IPSW for the series 4 and 5 and 6. So I will not complete the activation, but here we go. As you can see, everything is okay. So I guess this is for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And as always, stay safe and have a good day. And I'll catch you guys later in another repair video. Peace out.